According to Executive Order 13112, the legal definition of invasive species is as follows. A. The species has to be non-native or alien to the ecosystem under consideration. B. Its introduction causes or is likely to cause economic or environmental harm or harm to human health. I'm sure you can already think of a few invasive species, but a few commonly known examples in Minnesota include the creeping charlie, buckthorn, mystery snails, and emerald ash borers. This documentary is looking further into a lesser known invasive species, one that hasn't been discussed as much. This species is zebra mussels. Zebra mussels are a non-native species of freshwater mussel that has invaded Minnesota. They compete with native mussels for resources like food and essential minerals. They typically attach themselves to hard surfaces like boats, docks, rocks, and, given the opportunity, native freshwater mussels. An interview conducted with Angelique Dahlberg, a researcher from the University of Minnesota, reveals just how these critters can be harmful and why we should care. She explains that our native mussels clean drinking water and places we swim. They fortify riverbeds and they are a food source for other essential wildlife. Because they are so sensitive to changes in the water, they are also classified as an indicator species. This means that when the health of our water changes, Especially in regards to pollution, these mussels will be the first to show how these changes dramatically affect the environment. This is why, she says, we need to protect this species from zebra mussels. Zebra mussels not only compete for resources with the native mussels, they actively attach to their shells and block them from supporting the environment. If the environmental factors weren't harsh enough, the zebra mussels also put a serious dent in our pocket. Angelique explains that since these invasives are so keen on attaching to any and all hard surfaces, they often encrust our pipes. She says that Minnesota spends around $20 million a year to remove these mussels, which we later confirmed through a Star Tribune article stating that we spend 10 to 28 million annually on this problem. Now that we are aware of the problem, there are a few things that can be done. Some on a higher statewide level, but there is still plenty to be done individually. One of the solutions we have found is a chemical called EarthTech QZ. This product is a non-target copper-based molluscicide. It has been tested and kills large numbers of zebra mussels effectively, with very few side effects, and it doesn't affect our drinking water. While this may seem like an easy fix, there are a few issues with the chemical. The first issue is, it's a non-target. This means it not only has the ability to kill zebra mussels, but it could also negatively impact our native mussels. This chemical bonds to the gills of mussels, and when too much copper is introduced to a mussel's gills, it effectively starves them of other minerals they need, thus killing them. However, even though it's a non-target, zebra mussels filter water faster, therefore collecting more of this copper before our native mussels really have a chance to breathe it in. Essentially, it kills mostly zebra mussels with very few exceptions. The other downside to using this product is the expenses. EarthTech QZ is definitely not free, and since the product works best through using it in multiple sessions, the monetary cost of the chemical seems to be our main barrier. In further efforts to protect our native mussels, the Minnesota DNR has partnered with the Minnesota Zoo in raising native mussels to their juvenile state and eventually releasing them into Minnesota lakes and rivers.
Individually speaking, there's a few methods of helping that can be used depending on a person's regular activity. For starters, stopping the spread of more zebra mussels by cleaning your boats between bodies of water. Their larval stage is microscopic, so even if you think you don't have any on you, washing off any surfaces that have been exposed to water is the safest option. Another way you can help is giving the native mussels more of a fighting chance. This means cleaning up pet waste, planting a rain garden, and avoiding fertilizing your lawn right before it rains. By averting any extra pollutants in the water, we can further protect our freshwater mussels.